so uh, here we go. Let's take a look at the Facebook question of the day. We asked you uh, if you could take back a move that the Indians made over the past few years, what would it be? Do you have one that comes to mind, bud? Yeah, I mean, I I I just saw the one, the the one pop up. I mean, I I've been corrected on this by the by the Indians front office because they don't think I understood the numbers right, but I thought letting Brantley go was a mistake. Um, just thought when you have a, a team that's ready to contend and you have a professional hitter like that, that that you needed to keep him, even though they were obviously cutting payroll, and they they've told me that they would not have been able to afford to do the other things they wanted to do if they'd kept his, his sign, re-signed him. Yeah, well, the assumption I would have done is, it anyway. The assumption is that he wanted to stay here, which isn't necessarily true. I mean, if you have a choice, uh, no, but. Uh, if you, have, if you have a choice to cheat with Houston or play with Cleveland, what would you do? <laughs> Depends on how much they would pay me. <laughs> I'm very bottom line. All right, let's take a look at what some people have uh, said here. I suppose it depends on your timeline as to when, when uh, you see, because the question says uh, over the past few years. Kevin Pyle says the Tribe uh, should have never let uh, Brantley go. The contract he signed with the Astros could easily fit in the, Brown, in the uh, Indians' payroll budget and they would have retained a quality all-around talent. Glenn Berger says, trading Yande Diaz for Jake Bowers. Tampa Bay gave Diaz a chance to play in, uh, last year, and he hit 14 homers while hitting uh, 60, uh, 267 before he was injured. And meanwhile, uh, he hit uh, 14 homers. Uh, he did hit 14 homers and uh, 12 for the Indians and batted 226 while spending time in the minors. He played in 117 games for the Indians. Lawrence Butler says, trading Brandon Phillips. What does he know, Les? I was waiting for that. I was waiting for that. Joe English, <laughs> trading uh, Corey Kluber, one of the dumbest moves of all time, single best pitcher I've seen in my life pitch for the Tribe. I have no doubt that he'll be great again. Well, two Cy Young Award, award winners uh, here, and uh, Emmanuel Classe, and uh, uh, who's the other one they got? Uh, oh. And Delano De Shields, that's what shows up on that trade now, which makes it even look uh, worse than that. Uh, Joe uh, or Andy uh, Mees uh, giving up on uh, Gio Urshela looks like a big mistake. He's uh, been a good all-around player for the Yankees, one of the few teams I hate seeing profit from Cleveland's mistake. Christine Sansone Martin Marola, uh, Verola. She, she got, must have gotten married. She changed her name. She doesn't send me uh, chocolate chip cookies anymore, bud, uh, I, although I can understand that. <laughs> She says getting rid of Chief Wahoo and also trading Corey Kluber. Not very good moves. Michael Cirolo, <laughs> uh picking up Kluber's uh, option. Not picking it up, apparently. They should have uh, declined the option and uh, moved that money uh, to Lindor. I don't know that that makes a difference. Keeping Lindor would uh, be much more, more valuable than what they got on the trade for Kluber. And uh, Tim Ross says letting uh, Trevor Bauer play with his drone uh, before the World Series. <laughs> that wasn't the World Series. Was that the World Series or was that the National? Was that the ALCS? That was the ALCS. Yeah. 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 All right. There you have it. Uh, by the